Hey folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. Hey, time for another Wisconsin Trappers Law educational video. Um, as you can see, we got some body grip traps here. This is a Duke 160. This is a 220. You can see there's quite a bit of size difference there. But anyways, uh, a couple times a year I get asked, um, why do you use a 160 instead of a 220? And I always say, because 220s on dry ground, the way I trap in the fast track to coon trapping or I show you trapping trails or whatever, on dry ground, a 220 is illegal in the state of Wisconsin. And then, a couple times a year, and here's the problem, guys. If a couple people are asking me, four or five people every year are asking me uh, why I do this in Wisconsin, there's a problem there. That is, uh, somehow, some way, there's... A gray area that somebody ain't understand it and I get it but the 220s in my opinion there is no gray area if you listen to me if you want to listen to yourself or you tell me hey I measured it and it's legal or uh, I've done my research and I think it's legal then go ahead and use it dude that's on you you're the guy that's gonna have to defend your decision I defend mine so I was telling state of Wisconsin 220 is illegal then I get this. I measured my trap, and the Duke 220 is legal. I say, okay, let's go to the law. Here it is, guys. Page 11, Wisconsin Trapping Regulations. State, body grip trap regulations. No person may set, place, or operate any body grip trap greater than 60 but less than 75 square inches measured from the widest point on the outside of the jaw, as in figure one. Unless you are in a water and half the trap is set under the water, or the trap is five feet elevated above the ground surface, or surface of the ice, or whatever. You have a bottom entry enclosure, uh, unless the entire opening of the enclosure is no more than seven inches above the surface. So you can go in the bottom entry, or if you have a cubby, it has to be no more than seven inches. Uh, unbaited or unscented trail sets. That's where I use these 160s all the time. Unless the trap is within an enclosure and provides openings no greater than 10 inches high and 10 inches wide, and is recessed a minimum of 15 inches from the enclosure openings. Now, okay, that's all complicated. What does that mean? If the trap is more than 60 square inches, you cannot use it unless it's half underwater, it's in an enclosure 15 inches in, or it's a, it's a elevated set or whatever. So anyways, dry ground coon, that's what we're talking about. Here's the deal. The 160, without a doubt, is less than... It's seven inches, seven and a quarter by seven inches. It's 100%, without a doubt, no gray area, 100% legal. We don't even have to do that. But this is where they tell me, the Duke 220. It's a Duke 220. This is where people tell me they can run Duke 20s. I know trappers that are running Duke 220s, and they 100% think they are legal. <laughs> That's fine. They're the ones that are going to have to defend it. I don't do it. It's just not legal because here's the deal guys if you go through the Wisconsin trapping regulations page 11 and you read what I just read <laughs> it says uh, Measured from the widest points on the outside of the jaws as in figure one Here's the problem you guys that can't see this But if you go to page 11 or you google Wisconsin trapping regulations and you go to page 11 You'll see this it has a picture of a body grip trap uh, the jaws are are opened um, or the springs are open but you measure an unset trap and then the picture says measurement A is from here and measurement B is here the picture sucks ass it sucks ass I wish the DNR would take the time to one make them not let the measurements be so close and two Either eliminate the picture or do a better job. Because here's the thing. In the state statutes, there is no picture. It's verbiage. And the verbiage in the state statute says it can be no more than 60 inches 
measured from the widest points of width and height. That's it. It's done. That is it. So now I get people. Duke website says 220s are 7 by 7. That's 49. I can use them. 7 inches inside by 7 inches inside. You have to measure the outside. Now, here's where it gets iffy. And if you're the guy that sent me the message today, don't think I'm picking on you. I'm just clarifying this because a lot of people ask me. If you take this trap and you measure across here, outside to outside, you got eight and a quarter inches. And then if you take the trap and you hold it in your hand and you measure across here, you're going to come up with about seven and a quarter inches. Eight and a quarter by seven and a quarter is 59.81 inches. They say you're legal. This is where everybody says they're legal. Dude, listen to me. The law states widest point to widest point. So now, if you set it like this and you measure, you come up with eight and a quarter. And then if you measure like this, you're going to come up with seven and a half if you set it down. Eight and a quarter times seven and a half is 63.75 inches. Illegal. Now, if you again take the trap in your hand, it's because these traps are not 100% square. There's rivets. There's a little bit of slack, whatever. And then you go like this and you measure across here, which is the height. If you measure across, you will get seven and a quarter inches. That puts you back into legal. But here's the deal, guys. This is the ultimate catch right here. This is the ultimate. The width. Widest point to widest point. The picture looks like it's right here on this jaw. Goes over and goes right here to this jaw. Verbiage says widest point. If you measure from rivet to rivet on the outside, you will come up with eight and a half inches. Eight and a half by seven and a quarter is 61.625 inches. Your ass is going to get a ticket. So trust me, guys. Don't even dick around. The 220 is not legal in the state of Wisconsin. There is no 220 that I know of that's legal if you go by the widest measurements. And here's the deal. If you want to measure every single trap and you think you got one that's legal, dude, is it really worth it? This is what I'm talking about. The gray area sucks ass. The picture sucks ass. But trust me, if you be honest with yourself in the measurements and you go widest point, the widest point, there is no 220 that's legal in the state of Wisconsin. But if you think there is and you're comfortable with your measurements, be my guest. This is one thing I don't dick with. I run way too many traps on dry ground. Conibears in coon trails. I don't even dick with it. I use the 160. My success rate is very high. Uh, it is what it is. If you can legally use a 220 in your state, go for it. I would. But in Wisconsin, they're not legal. So take it how it is, guys. Have fun. Get outside. Enjoy yourself. And uh, I'll see you later.